Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the new home of the Michael and Ann Greenwood School of Music. Together we are composing a legacy of music. What an incredible crowd. I don't know if I imagined this even in my wildest dreams, but I should not be surprised. Thank you all so much for being here with us today as we officially opened the long-awaited Michael and Ann Greenwood Greenwood School of Music. a lot planned for you all today and we are so glad you could all be here and those that are joining virtually so we've got a great virtual audience for those that couldn't be here in person with us today for those of you who I've not had the privilege of meeting my name is Blair Atkinson I'm a proud OSU alumna and I'm also the president of the OSU foundation and it has been an absolute joy and pleasure to serve as the foundation president where every day I get to see incredible people like you all step up step in and make a transformational difference in the lives of other people. So thank you all. Thank you so much for this opportunity. So as I mentioned, we've got a big day and I want to start and kick things off by introducing you all to our Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, Dr. Glenn Kruth. Thank you. Thank you, Blair. Uh, this is so exciting. So great to see you all. Uh, today is very special for the College of Arts and Sciences and for the Greenwood School of Music and for Oklahoma State University. And it wouldn't have been possible without the dedication of so many of you in this room. We just really, really appreciate you being here. Such an awesome turnout. Julie and I are so excited to be here today. Glad to see this day come to fruition. Uh, just so excited. I'd like to welcome some special guests we have with us today. Um, First of all, Michael and Ann Greenwood. <laughs> President Casey Schrum. <laughs> OSU Regent Calvin Anthony. <laughs> Vice President for Research and President of the OSU Research Foundation, Kenneth Sewell. Spears Business Dean, Ken Eastman. Ken. Ferguson College of Agriculture Dean, Tom Kuhn. <laughs> Athletic Director, Chad Weiberg. State Senator, Tom Duggar. State Representative Trish Ranson. And Alumni Association President Rob McInturf. Before we begin celebrating, though, I'd like to acknowledge that today's the 20 year anniversary of the September 11th attacks. This tragic event had a profound impact on our country and changed the world forever. Please join me in a moment of silence as we honor the heroes of those attacks and remember the lives lost that day. Thank you. I hope you had the chance to meander through the building a bit and to enjoy the wonderful student performances this morning. Thank you to our students and faculty who joined us earlier this morning to provide those performances. <laughs> These performances highlight what this building is really all about, the students. As Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, I'd like to point out that it won't just be our music majors using this building. Students from the sciences, business, engineering, agriculture, education, and many other disciplines are encouraged to play in our music ensembles, and they do. 
So this new building quite literally serves the entire OSU campus. After the event, I encourage you all to take some time and look throughout the building. The McKnight Center will also be open for you to walk through. Thank you again for being here this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Crutes. Okay, today as we celebrate the incredible people who really helped make this facility a reality, we also want to recognize the talented students and faculty and staff who call this place home, many of whom are here that you've got to, to witness playing incredible music as you walked in. So thank you to the, the uh, faculty, staff, and students who make this place home. So as we've mentioned, the Michael and Anne Greenwood School of Music will serve as a launch pad for incredible music performances and education at Oklahoma State. And I know you all probably noticed there's still a few finishing touches being made in the building. Furniture continues to arrive daily. Uh, but the thing I'm most excited about here is this building really does elevate teaching the teaching facilities, the rehearsal facilities, the recording spaces, if you all haven't had a chance to view that, absolutely superb. These things will elevate our program to national prominence. They give our faculty an incredible advantage in recruiting the top students in the world. So we're so grateful for Michael and Anne Greenwood for leading the way on this project. Your dedication and your passion for students inspire so many people. You can see your work across every every corner of this campus, so thank you again. And thank you for everyone else who supported this project. So many hands were a part of bringing this building to fruition today. I see many of you here. I had the chance to spend some time with Claudia and Bart. I know Jonathan Drummond is here, uh, Dick and Melinda Fisher as well, just some incredible uh, committed and devoted alumni who wanted to see this project come to fruition as well. So the future is bright with the Greenwood School of Music, and in a few moments you're gonna get to hear for, from our incredible director, uh, Dr. Jeff Leffert for the Greenwood School of Music. And again, under his leadership and Dean Kreutz, we're in great hands. They've been uh, wonderful ambassadors here. They really have enabled great partnerships with the McKnight Center and have been deeply involved in making sure that this facility accomplishes what we all hope that it will. So due to so many of the people in the room today, we've got incredible and unparalleled experiences for our students at Oklahoma State. So the next speaker, this is my first opportunity to get to introduce to you all our beloved president of Oklahoma State University. She's tenacious, she's full of grit, she's a small town Oklahoma girl, but she is full of big vision. And we've got incredible opportunity ahead of, of us under her leadership. We're gonna to soar to new heights. So it's my pleasure to introduce the president of Oklahoma State University, Dr. Casey Shrim. Well, thank you. It is a amazing day to be a cowboy, isn't it? I'm so honored to serve as the 19th president and be here with you this morning. Um, I, I, I cannot uh, even imagine a better place to start off our game day than right here in the Michael and Ann Greenwood uh, Music School. Over the past decade, the cowboy family um, has intentionally woven, hmm, I'm sorry, I am not in the right place here. <laughs> I'm, where are we here? Okay, yes, we are. That's what happens when you get up and you just start talking. <laughs> Over the past decade, the Cowboy family has intentionally woven visual and performing arts into the fabric of OSU's identity. The Michael and Ann Greenwood School of Music is the latest example of how we continue to elevate the arts as an integral part of OSU's land-grant mission. Students who study here will have life-changing opportunities learning from both their accomplished professors and just next door at the McKnight Center for the Performing Arts, some of our, the, top, the world's top musicians. OSU is no longer just known for stellar agriculture, business, and engineering programs but for what we offer in the way of arts. I'd like to echo what Dean Crutes said earlier, this facility and the opportunities found within 
will serve the entire OSU community. And I'm so pleased to continue OSU's important partnerships with people like Michael and Ann Greenwood and all of you here today who are committed to the arts and the success of our students. I look forward to building upon the significant ways the visual and performing arts integrate into OSU's long-term vision. This arts corridor was once just an idea, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. And I wanna again thank Michael and Ann and all the gracious donors that brought this dream to life. The fundraising effort for this facility were incredibly collaborative and have shown how tight knit our Oklahoma State University music community is. In addition to the lead gift by the Greenwoods, the campaign included nine major gift donors and 102 donors overall. Many of these people pooled their investments together and are working to name spaces to honor four former OSU faculty. Several of these efforts are ongoing and remind me how the spirit of working together which is a skill taught in music ensemble, is again bringing our cowboy family together. Cowboys in every walk of life, students, faculty, staff, and alumni are banding together toward a greater goal. Current collaborative campaigns are underway to honor Margaret Nichols, Joseph Missel, Paul Montemuro, former faculty who are currently honored with either a name or a, a name space or a commemorative bust, include Z. Randall Stroop, Hiram Henry, Max Mitchell, and Bo McCoskey. Several of these names are recent retirees, but many retired decades ago. Some donors named spaces throughout the building in honor of their families or for people who inspired them, and others are creating a new legacy for generations to follow. It's heartwarming to see cowboys come together to honor the individuals that have made such an impact on their time at Oklahoma State University. And there are still ways for people to get involved with this transformational building and help elevate the arts at OSU. To date, we still have roughly 1.4 million remaining before we reach our fundraising goal. If you're feeling inspired to help elevate music at OSU, we have a way for you to do that. Thank you to everyone who has supported this project, our students, faculty, and staff. Again, thank you, Michael and Ann. Your vision for this new facility helps us to achieve a common goal of always putting our students first. Next, I'd like to welcome Dr. Leffer, director of the Greenwood School of Music, to speak more about the impact of this incredible, incredible new building. My name is Jeff Lefford, and I'm very proud to serve as director of the Michael and Ann Greenwood School of Music. I'm delighted to welcome you to the beautiful Edward E. and Helen T. Bartlett Foundation rehearsal room in the Greenwood School of Music building. I would first like to express my sincere gratitude to you all for joining us today for this celebratory event. I also want to say how genuinely appreciative I am to our leadership OSU President, Dr. Casey Shrum, and College of Arts and Sciences Dean, Dr. Glenn Krutz, for their presence and support today. My colleagues and I are truly grateful for this investment in our program. We have been using the term game changer to describe this building and the impact that it has on our ability to serve our students. We are indeed in the middle of a transformative period at OSU and the trajectory of the performing arts at OSU has been profoundly affected, ensuring our students will achieve at levels we never dreamed possible and will stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the absolute best programs in the country. This building ensures that our students will be prepared to meet the ever-changing landscape of the workforce and the performing arts. 
It allows my colleagues and I to foster the highest levels of achievement in music performance and technology and to uphold scholarly excellence. The level of detail in the planning and construction of this building is second to none. Acoustical considerations were at the forefront of the design and the construction, making this building truly special. I would like to thank Beck Design, Manhattan Construction, Kierkegaard Design and Consulting, and our colleagues at OSU Long Range Facilities Planning for helping us to realize this vision. Perhaps the greatest strength of this university is the level of personal investment by alumni and leadership to ensure its success, which is so deeply ingrained in the culture of the university. You are all committed to the success of our program, the success of our students, and the success of the future leaders in the performing arts. And of course, I'm very excited to acknowledge the namesakes of our program, Michael and Ann Greenwood. <laughs> Mike and Ann are absolutely dedicated to OSU students, and this building is yet another example, a remarkable example, of Mike and Ann's relentless mission to ensure that our students have opportunities that they otherwise would not have had. Mike and Ann and everyone who has invested so much in this project. On behalf of the students, faculty, and staff of the Greenwood School of Music, we are truly grateful. Thank you very much. And thank you, Dr. Shrum. I know myself and all those involved with OSU Music share in your excitement to see how this new facility will impact our students. Next, I would like to introduce one of our very own students, Martha Beatty, a vocal education senior to the SAGE, to talk about her experiences and excitement for this new era at, of music at Oklahoma State University. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Um, like Dr. Leffert says, I am a senior music ed major studying vocal music, and my plan, hopefully a year from now, is to be teaching middle school choir. But four years ago, I was in a completely different place in my life. I had just decided that I wanted to study music in college, and I began to tour and audition at different schools. Um, at all the schools I auditioned at, the music buildings were very similar to the Saratine. They were generally older, they had a lot of history, there was a lot of life, but they weren't necessarily <laughs> updated to the most current needs of their faculty and students. And when I auditioned at OSU, the Saratine, though now she holds a very special place in my heart, um, was not the reason that I decided to attend here. Um, <laughs> but it's a beautiful building. Um, it was because of the community and the dedication of the faculty and students at Oklahoma State. The music faculty here, having been here three years, are incredible. The dedication that they have to their craft, to their art, but also to their students is something that I am so fortunate to have felt the effects of at, during my time here at OSU. They have always taken the time to take an interest in the lives and the future careers of their students, as, as do my peers in my classes. Um, the building of the new Greenwood School of Music was so exciting to see the construction process happen. Having the space to expand, having these beautiful new facilities that have been carefully fine-tuned to fit the needs of each different ensemble. Having new um, technology in our classrooms that we can utilize in ways that we were never able to in the old building. And of course, having more than 10 practice rooms is incredibly exciting. <laughs> But more than that, this building to me is a tangible, ever-present reminder on our campus of the support that the OSU community has for our music programs and our arts programs. Um, having these facilities on my audition day four years ago would have completely blown me away. I had never seen a university that gave so much um, money and time and planning to invest in a beautiful space like this um, for their arts programs. 
So to all the donors, all of the admin and, and OSU leadership, and of course, Michael and Ann Greenwood, who we know this building would not have been possible without you, thank you so much for your investment into the lives of the arts community. On behalf of the students who will continue to attend OSU and the many other students, teachers, performers, stage technicians, composers, music industry executives who will be touched by the people who go through this music program, thank you for valuing what we do. Thank you for investing in the lives of so many people who will benefit from the amazing community that we have in the music school at Oklahoma State University. It gives me so much pride to know that my university cares in the arts and the future of the music community in this country, let alone just at this university. And seeing the students and faculty housed in a building that represents the caliber of their teaching, performing, and creating is something that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. Thank you.
<laughs> wow, that was incredible, wasn't it? Ah. Thank you, thank you so much. We'll see you all on the field in a few. We'll all be cheering for you all. You did outstanding. Thank you, thank you. Gosh, that just gets you excited, doesn't it? I don't know about you all, but I feel jazzed and, and ready for the ball game and just so grateful again to be here. Um, uh, uh, Martha, thank you. What an incredibly bright future you had. You were fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, it's students like you that really give us a lot of hope for the future. I'm glad you chose Oklahoma State, and, and great job. Great job. Okay, so next, it's my distinct honor to, to introduce the Greenwoods. Now, this is one of those things that, you know, as you're reading your notes, you think, gosh, don't screw this one up. So, especially if you all know Mike and Ann, uh, Mike, I had the privilege of meeting when he was a foundation board of trustee. I'm totally going off script, so my staff probably here is freaking out a little. Uh, but I had the chance to meet Mike as he was a foundation board of trustee. And I'll tell you, the thing I remember about him is that he pushed us. He pushed us not just to be better, but he pushed us to be excellent. He's firm, but he's fair. He's got a great heart. Uh, he cares a lot about this university um, and has been and continues to be a really great source of wisdom for me in my role. So it's with enormous gratitude that I stand here today to introduce this couple. My first memory of Anne, she probably won't remember this, but uh, I had a great memory of Anne calling me one day to see if I could help her coordinate, you guys will be surprised by this, water for the marching band. Who was? <laughs> <laughs> So the marching band, as you all well know, were playing outside in extreme heat, and Anne immediately, her heart for serving others, her heart for students, her heart for caring genuinely and authentically about those around her, just really wanted to make sure that these kids knew they were loved, knew they were cared for, and knew that they were doing great work here at Oklahoma State. So we tried to coordinate water and popsicles and make sure that we got these kids well cared for. Uh, the pair is an incredibly dynamic and tenacious pair. I think I heard uh, the word Word relentless earlier and I thought gosh that's the best way to describe Mike and Ann they just are they look for ways to serve others they're committed and devoted you see their fingerprints as I mentioned across campus they've been committed to student scholarships the Greenwood uh, Tennis Center the Ann Morris Greenwood reading room and the Edmund Lowe Library are just a few of the highlights of the things that they've been deeply committed to so with incredible gratitude I'd like to welcome to the stage Mike and Ann Greenwood Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So the Saratine Center has been the home of, to OSU Music really since the early 1970s, and it served us well for many, many years. But as our program continued to grow in size and quality and technology advanced, as the years passed by, uh, it just could, was not able to meet, meet our, more and more of our needs every year. It just was not able to meet. So our students, but especially our faculty, They've had a dream for several decades, actually, of having a new facility that would support them reaching the highest level of excellence. And today, my friends, you know, we are here to celebrate that dream coming true. <clears throat> but I, I, we, we can't take credit for this. I want to tell you, the dream did not come true because of us, okay? We would not be standing in this room, this state-of-the-art facility today if it wasn't for all the other major donors, and all donors actually, that participated in this project. Without your help, okay, this would not be here today. And Ann and I can never thank you enough for supporting us and joining us in this vision. So, here we are, okay, because of you, we're here today. It's a great day for us, it's a great day for everyone, everyone here. And I just want to say, be the first one to say, welcome to the new home of the Greenwood School of Music. Thank you. And to our faculty and our students, 
Okay, everything you see here, all of this, it's for you. Welcome home. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this day finally arrived. And it's, I've, as you can tell, I've anxiously awaited, and I'll have to tell you, this is a dream come true day. And in fact, that's the very words that I chose to write in the construction beam that's placed in this building. Dreams do come true. Beck Design created this unbelievably gorgeous building, this architecture, and now this beautiful building at last is ready for our very talented faculty and also our very talented students. And I could not be more pleased and more happy. <sighs> Sorry, this hard day, because it's been waiting. The first time I walked in this building and heard their music, probably in this room, and saw the smiles in their faces. That was the most rewarding day. And the music, the beautiful music that they make in this building, in this room, in the state-of-the-art rehearsal hall, is even more amazing. OSU Music has long been so very talented and done so much with very limited resources. And now, with the addition of this very beautiful building and this facility, they'll be able to be even better, to grow professionally. We could not be more happy, and this legacy of beautiful music will live forever. And we are ever so thankful, and we are ever so proud, and we thank you all for being here today as a part of our celebration. Thank you. Thank you all again, and in true form, you all were very gracious to all the people who had many hands, but you all led us there, so thank you. Thank you for your leadership, and thanks everyone for coming. That will wrap up our program today. I hope that you all have the opportunity to take a tour of the facility. I mentioned the rehearsal spaces. I mentioned uh, the recording space, some really fabulous spaces for our students, so I, I hope that you have the chance to walk around and take a tour. Uh, we will take a few ceremonial photos uh, after, of course, we have the one wonderful Pocapella here to end with our alma mater. Put on. 